All right, 49ers roster move. They brought back Kamoko Ture, defensive end, to the practice squad. Ture started the season on the practice squad, but then got promoted to the 53-man roster. But because of the Armstead and Kinlaw injuries, the 49ers needed more depth at defensive tackle. So what they did is they cut Ture and they promoted T.Y. McGill, who had run out of practice squad elevations, to the 53-man roster. So... Uh, T.Y. McGill, the defensive tackle, was was more needed than Kamoko Ture on the roster. But the 49ers still wanted Ture in the building because you never want to lose edge rushing depth. So they're able to bring Kamoko back to the practice squad. Essentially, this kind of swap is important for salaries for the players, right? Practice squad salary is only about $200,000 per year. You divide that up by week, whereas the active roster, the 53-man roster for these veterans, that's over a million per year. So pay cut for Kamoko Ture and a pay raise for T.Y. McGill. Now the team to make room on the practice squad, they released Kadar Hallman, the cornerback, and that was another swap. They essentially had uh, changed cornerbacks in the practice squad with Janoris Jenkins coming aboard yesterday. So Jenkins, the 34-year-old veteran who was an all-pro pro pro bowler in 2016, takes Kadar Hallman's spot. And then on the 53-man roster, the 49ers have T.Y. McGill, taking Kamoko Ture's spot. But a win for the 49ers, and they're able to still keep Kamoko Ture around, obviously, at the reduced price. That's the latest. We will talk to you soon.